Hello, uh, this week on Freshly Baked, I'm trying the peach pie from um, Pie from Everyone, or for everyone, probably not from everyone, uh, which is from Petey's Pie Shop. And uh, they have incredible pies. They're based in New York and um, it's definitely some of the best pies I've had. So I thought I'd see if I could replicate it at home. Uh, So first up is the pastry. And I kept my flour in the freezer to keep it super cold and the butter was straight from the fridge. And I followed their recipe as closely as possible. In this part, I did deviate a bit later on. (laughs) there were consequences but anyway so first up it's flour and sugar and salt into the bowl of the food processor and then you give that a little blitz and so it's nicely combined and then half of the butter goes in and like I said it's fridge cold butter so it's really solid and I think that is meant to help give a kind of crisper pastry and uh, the pastry was very good it was all very good but yeah I I played around a bit anyway so that gets a little initial blitz uh, until they're kind of little flakes in there and then you add the second amount of butter it's always quite shocking when you make pastry and see how much butter's in there and uh, some ice cold water Um, and it then has another blitz and then you can see it's still quite crumbly so usually when I make a sweet pastry it comes together on a ball immediately but in this book it said to kind of keep it as crumbly as possible Um, and it was quite hard to work with so I thought I'd put it onto a sheet of cling film and try and um kind of mash it together with my with my hands obviously not with anything else but um try and kind of pull it together a bit but it did take a bit of work and I was a bit worried I was gonna overwork it or heat it up so I tried to work it as little as possible but as I'm sure you can see it was it was all over the place um but I I gave it a go and um even though it was really crumbly it was still quite sticky hence putting down a little bit of flour um but anyway so I uh I rolled it out with a bit more flour (laughs) quite a bit more this time so weird such a crumbly sticky uh dough but you can still see there are the flakes of butter in it and yeah anyway it's always nice to try new things so I rolled that out And then um, got my brilliant cake lifter to try and scoop it off my table and do some very pro patches there. And then popped it into my pie tin. And then I rolled out, so this was going to be a lattice pie. So I rolled out the top and I (laughs) didn't quite do it properly, but you can see that a bit more later. So next up is to the filling, and so I use nectarines, and in the recipe they say they actually use nectarines too, even though they call it peach pie. So it's sliced nectarines and some lemon juice, and then it's sugar, and I thought, as this was an American recipe, they tend to be overly sweet, so I did, I think I did about half the amount of sugar, um, and that was a mistake, so if anyone is going to make this recipe... Um, make sure you use the the full amount of sugar it needed it um I've been eating it with like sugar sprinkled on top just to bring up to the right amount and I also did less amount of corn flour which is what's going in now or cornstarch um because I think theirs had three tablespoons actually it was two tablespoons um and I thought that seemed like quite a lot and um yeah so obviously they know what they're doing so even though it was quite a lot that it should have been so I did have quite a lot of um ooze from the liquid um and then I added some salt and then gave it a good stir together so kind of once you've done the pastry it's really really quick um so I think that's why I absolutely love about fruit pies it's kind of also I guess once you've sliced the nectarines um but 
it's really quick to assemble and very easy. If I make it again, I think I'll stick to the normal pastry I do just because it's a bit easier, even though this did have that kind of crisp, flaky pastry, which you'll see at the end. Um, I found it too much of a faff and baking for me, it's meant to be fun. Um, so pouring in the nectarines with all their juices into the prepared pie tin. And then we move on to doing the lattice top and I didn't read the instructions properly so I didn't end up cutting the right amount of strips or length or thickness um, so I just cut what I thought was about right and then when I was kind of putting it all together I was like ah can I need to double this amount so um, re read the recipe properly is, is uh, <laughs> something I should know by now but hey ho I, I may do so as you can see at this time I was like oh Hold on, I think we're meant to have a few more, a few more strips here. Um, so I kind of pinched off bits from the ends as much as I could, and um, <laughs> then used this tiny little scrap of pastry to try and um, get a few more strips of uh, pastry to make my lattice. So I, I, you know, we make do. We we always make mistakes with these things. So this is me trying to cobble together a few extra strips and uh, I've not really done a lattice before either so I <laughs> definitely definitely nicer versions out there but it's always um it's always nice to push yourself a bit and I now know for future reference read the recipe and um yeah look, look at how you do it properly and then it's an egg wash on top which is a bit of beaten egg and sugar which again I've not done. I usually use either beaten egg or milk or a bit of both. Uh, so I guess the sugar helps it brown a bit. So I put it all over the top. Um, and I kind of went into all the nooks and crannies. Sometimes I'm a bit slapdash with a egg wash, but I wanted that kind of really golden, properly glossy pastry finish. And then it goes onto a baking sheet in case of spillage which there was, and into the oven for about an hour until it's kind of bubbling and golden. And here you can see it out of the oven and it rests for about an hour before you um, can tuck in, but it was it smelled incredible and it baked really, really beautifully. There was a lot of liquid that came out, but I think that's my, uh, uh, my fault for not adding the recommended amount of cornstarch. And the pastry was really nice. It was like really buttery, really good flavour. It wasn't very crisp on the bottom, but I think that was, um, again, possibly partly do down to the um, fact I didn't use enough cornstarch. So it would have, um, I guess, made it a bit more soggy or not. M maybe it's not meant to be massively crisp, but it was, um, yeah, it was really, really nice. Um, a bit tart for my for my taste, but um, that's because I halved the sugar. So I would recommend it. Uh, and the cookbook itself is is a beauty. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's bake. And um, please subscribe if you did. And I will see you next week.